Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to geek out a little bit over Valhalla Vintage Verb because it is one of my favorite reverbs I have ever used. And I think it's been about 10 years since I've had it. And with version 4.0, there's a couple new algorithms. So right here we have Falcon and we're going to be using the Model D and it's going to be on the preset MD Basic Dry. And then we're using Valhalla Vintage Verb in that. So for this new one, it's going to be this Hall 1984 and the color is going to be 1980s. We have a decay of about four seconds and then I'm kind of cutting the lows at about 180 hertz. So we're going to play some soft kind of piano and really listen to the reverb tales. It's amazing. It's just so smooth and just so lush. It's kind of amazing. So this is the Hall 1984. The other one that's really cool that I've really liked is the Chamber 1979. And if we send a little bit more to it right over here, what's kind of cool is that we can do something kind of creepy in a harmonic minor scale, which I kind of like doing that nice weird dissonant sounds. Super cool vibe. So this is just with a piano, but this stuff can work really on some cool stuff. So I was kind of playing around with some sound effects and I made a weird sound effect inside Avenger, which I kind of want to show you here as well. So this one is kind of like those creepy, I don't know, something's wrong, something's coming kind of thing. And I put a macro over here to kind of control the cutoff. And if we send this without reverb, it's kind of, it's still cool, but it doesn't really have the impact. So with this guy, we have something kind of like that. That reverb just carries that tail. Super dissonant, and for this guy, we have this Valhalla Vintage Verb, and this is going to be on the Chamber 1979 with the 1970s. However, we could also put a Hall and maybe change this as well to 1980s and kind of see how that sounds. This one has a longer decay, like six seconds, so maybe we can bring this up just a little bit more to kind of just get the creepy vibe, and we are also low-cutting it because there's a lot of lows in this patch here.
Like the reverb tail is just so insane. It's huge. It's it's just I don't know. I've fallen in love with this reverb a long time ago, and it still wo woos me, woes me. I think it's woos me, right? Woos me to this day. I think that's it. So it can work really well on stuff like this, for example, or we can do something nice with those keys in Falcon. So yeah, if you haven't used this reverb, I definitely suggest to check it out. I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that. So it's super cheap, super affordable, and it just sounds amazing. And it keep gets, <laughs> keeps getting upgraded over and over and over again. One thing that's really nice I like about this is the flat interface. Like it's just really not complicated. It's really easy to see what's going on. There's a couple sections and it just makes sense. There's not crazy menus and menus and buttons and all of those things like that so it's super easy to use and it sounds amazing i haven't switched out my reverb for like 10 years or something like that or maybe more i figure when i bought this was it 2013 maybe or something like that or 12 whenever they first released this i i kind of found out about it and bought it and i never never went back since so it's probably one of the best 50 bucks i've ever spent in my life And especially with version four now, if you go into our modes, we have all these different modes to pick from, which is really cool. Then the color from 1970s to 80s and then till now. So it's kind of a little bit different in that sense. And there's also a lot of presets that come with it as well. So if you don't feel like dialing reverb or stuff like that in, you can totally do that. I know we talk a lot on this channel about sound design and stuff, but we kind of haven't really talked too much about reverbs. And this one by far is the one I will always use and always keep in my workflow. It's one that I can't let go. Like once you find a certain effect that does something really, really well, and that's also updated, you kind of want to stick with that and vintage verb is 100 that one for me so yeah definitely experiment with these these two newer ones the hall and then the chamber those are really 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 nice i think so uh yeah i just wanted to kind of show you those two because i've been sitting in my room just like playing with these reverbs and i was like my god these are so good so uh yeah that's pretty much it and thank you for watching hopefully you play around with those modes because they're pretty awesome and we'll see you in the next video